Don't Be My Valentine by Joan M. Lexow. Pictures by Sid Hoff. And I can read book. Don't Be My Valentine. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, Mrs. Plum said. So today we will make valentines. Take out a sheet of red paper. Sam took out a sheet of red paper. Fold it in half, Mrs. Plum said. Sam folded his paper in half. Begin on the fold, the teacher said. Now draw a line like a big fish hook. Amy Lou turned around and said, I will help you, Sam. I can do it, Sam said. Amy Lou, Mrs. Plum said, you do your own work. Let Sam do his. Sam drew a big fish hook. Now cut around the fish hook, the teacher said, then open up the paper and you have a valentine heart. Sam cut around the fish hook. Then he opened his paper. It was in two pieces. Before he could hide them, Amy Lou saw them. You did it wrong, she said. You didn't begin on the fold, Sam said. I did it wrong because you were bugging me. I only wanted to help, Amy Lou said. Who asked you to, Sam yelled. Now, now, the teacher said. It will be all right. She took some tape and taped Sam's valentine together. Mrs. Plum wrote on the board, Roses are red, violets are blue. I like to go to school with you. I want you for my valentine. She drew flowers all around it. You can use this, she said, or you can make up your own. Amy Lou whispered to Sam, I will show you how to draw flowers on it. Then you can send it to me. Don't bug me, Amy Lou, Sam said. Why would I send one to you? Sam, the teacher said, this is not talking time. Sam wanted to tell Mrs. Plum that Amy Lou talked to him first. But Amy Lou was working on her valentine. She looked very busy. Sam wrote on his valentine, Roses are red, violets are blue. He wanted to make up his own valentine. What goes with blue, he asked himself. Sam looked at Amy Lou's back and smiled. A good idea came to him. He wrote, How did you ever get out of the zoo? Don't be my valentine from Sam. He drew a monkey on it. The bell rang. Everyone ran to get their coats. The teacher said, Amy Lou and Sam, don't forget the cookies for our valentine party. Sam reached into his coat pocket. There was the note the teacher had given him to give to his parents. Oh no, Sam said to himself. I forgot all about it. Tomorrow, Mrs. Plum said, bring valentines for everybody so everyone will get the same number. Amy Lou looked at Sam and said, now you have to send me a valentine. Sam stuck out his tongue at her. He put the valentine he had made in his coat pocket. Come on, let's run home and get away from Amy Lou, Sam said to his friend Albert. I have to go to the dentist, Albert said. See you tomorrow, Sam said. He ran all the way home. Walk. Sam's father had bought valentines for Sam to send. He helped Sam put names on them. Pick out nice ones for your teacher and Albert and Amy Lou, his father said. I made one for Amy Lou, Sam said. That's nice, his father said. 
In the morning, Albert was waiting for Sam on the corner. Sam said, I made a valentine for Amy Lou. He reached into his pocket and pulled out the cookie note. Oh, no, Sam said. I forgot about the cookies. Sam showed Albert the valentine he had made. I have to put Amy Lou's name on it. I will do that at school. Albert laughed at the card. Will Amy Lou be mad at you? Then maybe she will leave me alone, Sam said. Look out, here she comes. Sam and Albert ran to school. They hung up their coats. Sam took the cookie note out of his pocket. I guess I should tell Mrs. Plum about the cookies, he said. But the teacher was busy. Sam sat at his desk and waited. Amy Lou put a big bag on the teacher's desk. I brought chocolate chip, she told her friend, Gladys. What kind of cookies did you bring, Sam? Gladys asked. Sam did not answer. You forgot, didn't you? Amy Lou said. You made me so mad, Amy Lou. That's why I forget things, Sam said. You are mean to me, but I don't forget, Amy Lou said. Class, put your valentines in this red box, the teacher said. We will give them out at the party this afternoon. I left Amy Lou's valentine in my coat, Sam told Albert. I still have to put her name on it. Sam and Albert ran back to the coat room. It's gone, said Sam. Maybe it fell out when you took out the cookie note, Albert said. They looked all over the floor, but the valentine was not anywhere. Time to sit down, the teacher said. Sam and Albert went back to their desks. I brought lots of cookies, Amy Lou said. I will tell Mrs. Plum some of them are from you, Sam. But I still think you are mean, she turned back to her desk. Thanks, Amy Lou, Sam said to her back. He was glad he had not sent that mean valentine to her. She was not so bad sometimes. The party began after lunch. We need two mailmen to hand out the valentines, Mrs. Plum said. All the children raised their hand. Amy Lou waved her arm and yelled, Me, 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 Sam said to her. You always think you should do everything. Amy Lou gave him a funny look. She put her hand down. The teacher picked Albert and Gladys. Gladys read out the names. Albert handed out the valentines. Here is one for Sam from Amy Lou, Gladys said. It was a store valentine. There was a deer on it. It said, you are a deer to be my valentine from Amy Lou. Thanks, Amy Lou, Sam said. Gladys said, here is a card for Amy Lou from Sam. What? shouted Sam. He grabbed the card from Gladys. It was a store card with a bear on it. It said, I can't bear it if you won't be my valentine from Sam. Sam knew he had not sent a card to Amy Lou. Thank you for the card, Sam. Now give it to me, said Amy Lou. Sam gave her the card. Mrs. Plum said, Sam, I like your card with the lion on it. But I do not like the one you made about the zoo. About, 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 said Sam. How did Mrs. Plum get the card he had made for Amy Lou? But I didn't send it, Sam said. Didn't you make the card about the zoo? The teacher asked. Your name is on it, Sam. I did, but I didn't, shouted Sam. The teacher said, you did, but you didn't, Sam? Sam made the card, but he did not make it for you, Albert said, and he lost it. 
You did it, Sam yelled at Albert. You were the only one I told about it. I bet you sent that other card to Amy Lou, too. It isn't funny, Albert. Sam got up and gave Albert a push. Albert got up and pushed him back. I didn't do it, Albert yelled. Amy Lou said, Sam, don't be mad at Albert. If you lost the card, anyone could have found it. Sam hoped he was having a bad dream. Everyone was looking at him. Albert made a face at him. I will get you, Albert, Sam said. Sam got up. Albert ran out of the room. Sam chased him down the hall. Sam, Albert, come back, the teacher called. They kept right on running. Amy Lou, where are you going, the teacher called. Amy Lou was running after Sam and Albert. Albert and Sam and Amy Lou ran up the stairs to the third floor. They were too tired to run anymore. If you were really my friend, Sam said to Albert, you would not do such a mean thing. Albert said, I never would have sent your valentine to Mrs. Plum, not in a million years. See, Amy Lou said, Albert did not do it. Well, somebody did it, Sam said. Sam you can't even draw, Amy Lou said. Monkeys do not have ears like the ones you made. When did you see it? Sam yelled. You found that card, didn't you? You told me you would not send me one, Amy Lou said. So I sent a card from you to me. Then I found the card you made. It was really mean, so I knew it was for me. Well, it was even meaner to send it to the teacher, Sam said. I know, said Amy Lou. That is why I wanted to be a mailman. I wanted to get it back. Why do you keep saying I'm mean, Sam asked. I'm not mean. You make faces at me, and you say mean things when I try to help you, Amy Lou said. But I do not want you to help me, Sam told her. Sam, Albert said, you stop being mean to Amy Lou. Amy Lou, you stop bugging Sam, okay? Okay, Amy Lou said. Okay, Sam said, and I'm sorry I did not believe you, Albert. We better go back, Albert said. They ran down to their room. Amy Lou, Sam said, don't forget to tell Mrs. Plum the cookies are from me, too. That would be helping you, Amy Lou said. Oh, Sam said, I forgot. Sam went up to the teacher. I forgot to bring cookies. I'm sorry, Mrs. Plum, he said. Amy Lou said, I'm sorry. I sent you that valentine, Mrs. Plum. Sam said, I'm sorry. I was mean, Amy Lou. Amy Lou said, I'm sorry I bugged you, Sam. Mrs. Plum said, Sam, you can bring cookies next time. I will help you remember, Sam, Amy Lou said. Do not help me, Amy Lou, Sam yelled. There you go, being mean again, said Amy Lou. Oh, nuts, Albert said. Here we go again.